So this uh, this kind of leads into the first topic uh, for this week, which is gonna be uh, creating creative discipline. Ooh, okay. So creative discipline, this is what we're talking about in the podcast, and that's going to be a longer form. So if you guys want to watch more of us breaking that topic down, diving deeper into this issue, you can go watch this. But this YouTube uh, show or second section is going to be more about me breaking this down for the week and kind of summarizing what we've learned this week as we're moving forward. So after we talked and went through a lot of discussion, I kind of started doing um, a lot of research and just like sitting down and by no means am, <laughs> am I a guru on this stuff. It actually seems like this issue is a little bit bigger than I thought it was because the problem is is that each individual person is going to have their own problem. So it seems like there's two major umbrella categories after I was looking this up and there's probably more but I was just going to focus at least this week on tackling this. And those two umbrellas are motivation versus discipline and just having the ability to start. And then under those two umbrella categories it seems like there's this under subcategory that's more about environment, people, the fear of failure and creating habits and then I think habit building is the building block for all of this that I think is the solution or at least a step in the right direction so the first issue motivation versus discipline uh, and I sat down with my friend Alec who is a fitness content creator he's been live streaming he's doing a lot of stuff but I, I sat down with him the other day and he actually had a lot of good insight on this where we were talking about what that motivation versus discipline really is um, and I thought that he kind of broke it down a little bit better. And I'm like, it's really, it goes for everything though. It goes for fitness. It goes for doing anything, pretty much doing anything in life. It's like, it's the starting is the hardest part. Like, so if you can just force yourself and that's the other thing people ask me within fitness, it goes the same for content as well. But they're like, how are you motivated all the time? First of all, I'm not motivated all the time. I'm a human being just like you, it's no different. They're like, how are you motivated? How do you stay motivated to work out and eat healthy and I don't know, make content. And it's like, you're not always going to, if you operate just off of feelings, then a lot of things aren't gonna go your way in life. You need to like, actually, it's about making the decision and the commitment and just saying, even though I don't feel motivated to do this, I'm gonna do it anyways. I think that's the main thing. Cause I think everyone's tied up thinking that you should only do things when you're feeling motivated or motivated, being motivated is what make, helps you take the action or what makes you take the action. And I'm thinking, no, they got it all wrong here. <laughs> motivation is great. It's easier when, it, when it's motivated. People are trying to find the motivation to start doing it, but they don't realize that the motivation begins as soon as you jump the wall almost and just begin. And the, the same goes for, I, I sent out like an email, but it was like the top five ways to stay motivated. And then one of them is literally just putting your fanciest gym clothes on. The motivation just begins to kick in after you do that. It's really weird. It's like just taking that step to almost like pretending you're gonna do it or like, oh, I'm just gonna go to the gym and like see how I feel or walk in there or I'm just gonna put the fitness, my gym wear on. And then all of a sudden everything just changes. Um, that was just a snippet of what we kind of talked about, but I'll actually post the whole thing uh, after this video as well if you guys want to go listen to the full talk between me and him. But it kind of seemed like there's this idea out there that you're not going to be motivated to do what you want to do all the time. And again, I'm talking about all of this, at least for me as a creative, as a director, this is what I'm trying to fuel it into because I'm running a company, I'm trying to be a film director. And so I'm trying to find the motivation to make content as much as I can, as well as aiming towards being a film director. But there is this thing where I don't think we're always going to be fully motivated, but that's where discipline comes in. And this is kind of what Alec was talking about as well, is that if you can build up this really good discipline where every single time you sit down and you, you build up this routine, you no longer need to be motivated. It, it kind of just becomes like second nature. From the outside looking in, it seems like Alec is motivated all the time, right? He looks like he's one of the most shredded people that I know. Um, and yet he's even not motivated all the time. But what he did is he created a discipline where it's just kind of ingrained in him to do. And I think that's kind of the important thing for us as creatives to learn is building up that creative discipline where it's like, yes, you're not always going to be motivated, but your discipline will kick in. Like I'm not always motivated when we're making content, but we've created this habit of just like, well, from nine to five, I'm going to create something. And then the burst kind of just starts, which kind of goes into the second major category, which I think is just the ability to start.
and this is something that I sat down with uh, Nate, my friend Nate on, and he's been growing. He works, he's a cameraman for Zach King. He's built up a million followers on TikTok um, and he had a lot of good insight as well. And so this is what we were kind of talking about. What I realized is like, you just gotta keep going. You gotta keep, the only way to figure out what you wanna do or the only way to like push through like roadblocks is just to let you just get it done. You know when we're in college and we're like trying to do papers and it's like due, you know, at midnight and you're like, I don't know what to write, but literally you've got 20 minutes. And in that, in that moment of like, I don't know what to write, but I have to turn in comes like this craziness of you just have to make it happen. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that's where genius happens. Some people do say that sometimes it does, but many times it's just, you got it done. It's garbage or it's at least decent, but you've got it. You've got it done. That's the, that's the idea, right? This is it. Like there's nothing to make it better. It, it is what it is. I'm not gonna sit and ponder on it. I'm going to be like, cool, moving on to the next project, mm. you know? And I think if you're going to be a creator, you got to be willing to risk some stuff. You got to be willing to put yourself out there, look like an idiot in some regards. You just got to be willing to, like like you said, Chase, you got to be willing to fail. Because uh, there there will be times I'll work on a video for a week and it'll be like garbage. And I decide not to post at the end. And I'm like, wow, a whole week gone. But then I'm like, wow, I have the privilege to create content for people. And mm -hmm. actually have part of my job. Like, you can't complain when you view it that way. You're always growing every second you put into creating content. Uh, again, that was a short snippet of what me and Nate talked about, and I'll post the full thing so that you guys can hear our conversation. But sometimes you just have to start and just do it. Even though it's probably going to fail, you'd much rather learn from your failure of just doing it than not do it at all. And who knows, when you start doing it, you actually, once you're in it, you're like, oh, let's, let's finish this out. Because you've kind of already gotten the ball rolling. It's that whole mentality of when something's in motion, it stays in motion. But something that's stagnant won't move. I think that I kind of carry this a lot too. Sometimes I just do it anyways. And Action Studios, Andrew knows, and especially Yo-Yo knows, that Action Studios has been built off the back of just failing over and over and over again. But it was through the failure that taught me how to be better, right? Like I, I think there's something to that as well where failure is a better teacher sometimes than success can be. And I, I definitely have built a lot of my career off of, there are hundreds of videos that we have not posted. <laughs> Right, Andrew? <laughs> we might. Maybe I'll post them eventually. We can walk through them. But getting to the key point with both of these topics, going back to that subcategory, second category of things, environment, people, and your mental state and confidence level. I think these are things around you that you can actually control. And this is something that I think billionaires put into practice. And it's just called, it's just habit building and habit creating, whatever whatever that is, I think that that is actually the step towards being able to do this all the time. Like Gary V talks about all the time, just do it, just do it, just do it. But I've always sat there being like, but what if it's like hard to just start? That's always kind of been the problem. And I think me and Nate were relating on that as well. It's like, well, sometimes I don't have the motivation to start. And sometimes I've learned just get myself to the gym. But once I'm at the gym, I'm down to work out. Like I'm like, well, I'm already here. Let's work out as hard as I can. But I think that there's steps to even that that can be broken down. And that's habit of controlling your environment, controlling the people that you hang out with and working on your mental state, your he physical health and your confidence level. And I think that this is something that I started to put into practice this week. And this is something something that I learned through working out, but I can apply it to me as a director and creating for our company. When I go to work out, I first put on my workout shoes and my workout clothes. And then from there, I'll go drink coffee. And then I'll go listen to a specific playlist that gets me ready and my mind ready to go and work out. And I actually think that this is a study that's been done when you're doing research or you're studying or whatever you're doing, like for school, you can actually start creating a, a, a music playlist that every single time that comes on, you do work. So then every single time that comes on, your brain snaps into a habit of, oh, I'm about to learn right now. And I think it's the same thing when you work out. And I think it's the same thing that you can do as a creative. And so this topic is probably something that I'm going to dive into more so. And again, this is a shortened version of learning what I can do, but I think habit building and building those steps to starting is the way to create that, not only that discipline, but the steps towards starting each day. Um, and I think that's something that I'm going to work on this week and something that I have found so far to be helpful. 
Um, and as I keep creating uh, Action Studios and we build up this company, I think that's something that I'm going to put into practice and keep researching. And I'll let you guys know later if it continues to work or if it doesn't. Let me know in the comments if this helped you guys out. Um, you guys can follow us on Twitter. You guys can go watch the full length podcast um, with Behind the Camera with Action Studios, uh, which you saw in the beginning here. And then make sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok. We're posting a lot there. And we have a lot of big stuff coming up soon. Uh, we just dropped a short film called Candyman that's about to come out. It got nominated for a film competition. I think we got 11 nominations, which is really awesome. Um, and we're going to continue to hope to grow. And we have a lot of other projects that actually came about from the comment section of TikTok which is really cool and hopefully we can talk about that soon but we are listening to what you guys want so let us know in the comments what you guys also want to see more of let me know if this helped uh, and we'll see you guys next time yeah.